Hello everyone, Oli here and this is my review of The Crotons, the fourth story of the sixth season of classic Doctor Who starring Patrick Charlton as the second Doctor. The Crotons is the 47th story overall, it's four episodes long and is written by Robert Holmes. Unfortunately, all four episodes exist in the BBC archive, yes! And as I mentioned before, this is the first story to be written by Robert Holmes, who had actually contributed to the Doctor Who mythology in many years to come. This story is as follows. When the TARDIS arrives on the planet of the Gons, the Doctor, Jimmy and Zoe discover a world ruled and enslaved by the Crotons. The brightest Gons are always chosen to serve as companions of the Crotons and are never seen again. The Doctor and his friends decide to put a stop to their rule, but in doing so, and evidently unleash the true power and terror of the Crotons instead. So that is the plot of the Crotons, and in my opinion, the Crotons is a story that's disliked by many Huvians, and, but I really enjoyed the Crotons. I do think it's a fun watch. It has the basic understandable science element, even though I'm not really that much of a scientist myself. I still understood it. Like the Crotons is a nice breeze through, even though I did lose track sometimes, but I always managed to catch up. And I must say, the Crotons is an underrated story. And the, so the production of the Crotons is, is decent. The script was done well, the plot was good, the sets were nice, I liked the bit where the Crotons were staying and how they were formed with the crystalline stuff. And of course I liked the Gone City as well, it definitely had given give me underground vibes. When the story was filmed in, well the wasteland was filmed in the quarry and it gives off that alien planet feel and I like it when Doctor Who actually films in all these quarries because it, can, it shows how alien it looks. <laughs> And I like David Maloney's direction of the story, it was quite good, even though he said it himself he, it was a bit of a disaster, but each to their own, I guess. As in, I like the visuals of the story, especially that snake-like machine that was trying to scan the Doctor's face in the end of episode 1, and and then how it looked, it looked, it looked very modern. And how the Crotons were formed and destroyed themselves, that was, there were cool scenes. The conclusion of the Crotons was quite good as well, it didn't feel rushed. And I didn't feel it was dragged too much. It was it had a nice natural ending and I really liked it. So now on to the performances and the acting of the Crotons, which I thought was pretty good. Patrick Charlton, I think he did a good job. He doesn't have moments that he shines, but he still does a good job. I think he still did his best. And I still enjoyed him. I mean, and I liked how he came up with that great jumping cop stoppers line in episode 2 when the Crotons wanted Zoe to become a companion of the Crotons and he decided to give her a lecture because she was messing around on on their machines and then obviously he didn't want her to go alone so he decides to go on the machine himself and it was a very funny scene as well because he was pretty much struggling with the basic sums that were given and Zoe pretty much just did them with, did them with ease <laughs> which, which led to, to Zoe to say the doctor is almost as clever as I am which it is quite cocky to say the least but <laughs> She the fucking deserves it, and obviously, we have. Obviously, the doctor said before that he's describing Zoe as something of a genius, which actually irritates me. <laughs> and speaking of which, Jamie and Zoe they did good jobs. I liked how Jamie got into a fight with the gun named Axis. Doesn't really do much, but it was a good fighting scene, and it was nice to see Jamie actually get physical. We haven't really seen him get really physical in ages. I mean. I think he shoved, pushed Packer in the last story, and I think the closest thing to a shove to a fight was with one of the technicians in Free from the Deep. But but we did, I think this is the first time in a very long time we actually see Jamie get proper physical. And Jamie, he doesn't. I think that's pretty much what he does in this story. He doesn't actually do a whole lot. But Fraser Hines did a good job. Um, even though Hines said himself, he doesn't really care much for the Crotons. Zoe, on the other hand, she doesn't. She does an awesome job, and she shines once again. <laughs> My favorite scene of the story, as I mentioned before, was when Zoe was trying to help the Doctor figure out some sums for the Crotons, and but before that, the Doctor mentioned Zoe as something of a genius, which actually irritates him, and simply because Zoe got a higher score than the Doctor. <laughs> it was a nice, funny scene. I do think that the Doctor and well, Patrick Charlton and Wendy Padbury have have good chemistry to say the least i mean to, because i think the doctor pretty much sees zoe as her equal in a way but obviously zoe thinks she's better than the doctor which i actually think is funny because she's clever and she pretty much can do things with ease but the doctor actually struggles and as we've seen in the crotons here 
I also liked how she was the one, how Zoe assisted the Doctor in destroying the quote of sulfuric acid and and a little bit of fun she had at the doctors when they were stalling to stalling the quotons by, by messing around with the headset. <laughs> it was a nice funny scene. So on to the side characters of the Crotons. I honestly found a good chunk of them bland, a bit bland and quite forgettable because they're just there. They don't really do a whole lot. They're just, yeah, probably forgotten about most of them. But especially Varna, I think she was the one in the beginning. She was chosen by the Crotons and then I think the Doctor actually saves her from getting vaporized by them and she's pretty much knocked out but then she recovers and then she just she's just there. I mean, I do think she she could have helped the Doctor a bit more, other than just being there. But to be honest, I actually like the character of Vara. And he's the son of the leader Celeris. I mean, he does actually do a lot to help the Doctor, but I do think that he was a decent character. But I feel like, I feel like he should have stood out a little bit more, to be honest, because he's just there. I mean, even the character of Celeris himself, he's just that he doesn't really do a whole lot. I mean... Yeah, he dies, but he's just, I just find him bland. So moving on to the villains themselves, we had the Crotons. They were very menacing villains. They were big and the way they were killing people and vaporizing them was quite scary. And how they planned on destroying the, Cro- the Gons after they leave the Gond planet was dastardly. But I do have a problem how the Crotons looked, however, but I'll address that later had Elak, he was the deputy leader of the Gons and he wanted to attack the Crotons head on when they realised that the Crotons aren't what they are, what they say they are. And then he obviously wanted to attack the Crotons head on which would have led to more Gons dying. He's an okay side villain but to be honest he's a bit uninteresting considering the fact that he's played by Philip Maddock who, who has played Doctor Who villains in future stories such as the War Games which is coming up. He was the War Chief. I think I think and I think he appears in Brandon Morbius as well. I'm not sure, but I'll check up on that as later. But he doesn't really shine in the Crotons. I mean, it would have been better if the Crotons would have had like one of the guns such as Elak working with them, and then the Crotons just decide to kill kill Elak when they have no use of him. I think that would have been a better subplot, to be honest. So now my issues with the story itself, and for once, it's not the story's pacing that is that has that put me off a bit of the story. But seeing as this is Robert Holmes' first story, he's pretty much finding his feet for like this story and the space pirate which he which he which he really writes towards the end of the season. And so my first issue with the Crotons is none of the really side characters really stand out. I mean. They had potential to do so, but they were just there. They don't really do anything interesting. They didn't really do anything that would just grab my attention. They're just there. I mean, they aren't that really interesting. And and I think it's because the Crotons is too plot-driven. I mean, there, there was a bit of a romance plot between Thara and Varna, but that wasn't really noticeable. When I looked at the TARDIS wiki, I was surprised to have seen that there was a romance subplot. And I didn't really see that when I was re-watching it the other day. And if I mean I think it was too plodrant. Even if they had time to at least build the characters a little bit, it would have been a bit better. I didn't really like how Jamie didn't really do much of anything. It would have been nice to have seen him do a bit more things, but I guess it pretty much fits the purpose of the story because he isn't as clever clever as Jamie and Zoe, and pretty much has to help the Gons defeat the Crotons. And onto the Crotons themselves, it was pretty obvious that this is another attempt to make them another popular monster like the Daleks, the Cybermen, the Ice Warriors and the Yeti. And they looked weird themselves. I mean you only saw their top half as you can see see here. I mean this is pretty much all you can see of them throughout the most of the story. But then when they go into the wastelands you pretty much see their full body and they have like this weird cloth underneath underneath which is pretty much done to hide the actor's legs. And they're wobbling all over the place, and they did sound a bit northern, more than they sounded more northern than robotic, and which I did find a bit funny, and hilarious, funny, and strange, funny at the same time. But no offense to any northerners that actually watch this channel, who are all who any northerners that have come across this channel, 
but I apologize in advance anyways. So to conclude this review, <clears throat> I think the Crotons is a fun story which is, does get overlooked, but actually deserves more love. Despite the fault, I still like it. And when Robert Holmes did a very good job in his first Doctor Who story that he writes, and I give this story an 8 out of 10. My next review will be The Seat of Death, and I have been looking forward to this review ever since I started this channel, and it features the return of the Ice Warriors. So thanks for this. Thanks for watching this review. Please let me know what you thought of the Crotons and the story and this review, and let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so and like all my videos. And until then, see you later.